Hey guys, welcome back. So I've made a couple things over the weekend. I don't know, I think I've made two canes and the video turned out horrible, so I scrapped them. So I tried, I'll try and explain why I scrapped them, but there was one video that I made of a really pretty flower using all metallic colors because I've never done that before. I thought that would look cool. Then I thought instead of wrapping with um, translucent clay, I would wrap it with opal clay, which is basically translucent with opal flakes in it. Yeah, that didn't turn out real well. So there's the flower. And you want to know why it didn't turn out well? Because the opal runs through this clay. So when you cut it, these opal pieces are actually really sharp. And you can see the knife marks on it from the opal just dragging through it. And it doesn't hold its shape. I mean, I could do a really quick one right here. And watch. It just... Yeah. Look at that. It just doesn't hold the shape. It tears it up. So I had to scrap that idea. And then I bought like 500 grams, two packages of 500 grams of... Cernet white translucent or their translucent because I really really want to try this it came to me hard as a rock <laughs> Two of these these aren't cheap for one of them, but I got two So I contacted the company. I think they're sending me or out, but they told me I'll just put it in with some oil You know and mix it up. So I tried that it's not working and honestly two things bother me about that and it's not his fault he is replacing it so I'm not going to get down on the company they're only like an hour away from me too I should just drive down there one day and pick it up but one when you have arthritic hands and you're expected to do this until you condition the clay you're going to have completely destroyed hands by the time that you're done two I have less than three weeks now for my show I don't have time to do that so I didn't get mad at them or anything like that. It wasn't their fault. Maybe it was. It couldn't have gone an hour to me and have been rock hard within two days. So whether or not it was hard to start with, you know, not very hard, but stiff. And then it got hard when it got to me because it is summer. I have no idea. But it just really blew my weekend apart. So today I'm going to do something easy. I'm just going to do a flower. And this flower, well, I would like to make it without a pasta machine at all. But I want to wrap it in translucent. So that might be the only time I use it. Or I'm going to see how well I can try and um, do the translucent without the pasta machine. The idea came up because there's somebody out there that told me that her pasta machine just broke. Or she doesn't have a pasta machine yet. There's a couple people that don't have one yet. So I thought I'd show you a way where you can still make a flower even though you don't have a pasta machine. So I want to make all these the same side. And I thought I'd make a fall, a fall flower. So what do we got? Not right there. Okay, so we're going to put that aside. And I think that's... It's pretty close. You don't have to make it perfect. Okay, so we have about, I don't know, about one and a half inches on these. So I'm going to cut it in You know what? I'm going to cut it in two. I'm going to have to make one more white because I want four. Okay, so there's two there. And then I'm going to grab a little bit more white and make one more of those. So in two, I've had a lot of inquiries about my friend. Um, a few have commented, you know, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. And, well, let's just say we are not friends now. And, you know, when she accused me of taking her technique, I apologized right away. I said, I don't know where I did that, but I apologize. Can you please show me? 
Well, she didn't respond. So, she has a friend that obviously that she told this to. So I contacted her friend and she kind of informed me of what she was talking about. And I went, okay. So I watched her video. Then I watched my video. Then I had two friends watch her video and watch my video. And my technique was 110% not her technique. Nowhere in that video looked anything similar to what she did. The only thing that may have been similar were the colors that we used, you know? So after being upset at myself, I turned around and now I'm obviously hurt because I hurt her. So now I'm hurt and now I'm angry because I didn't do anything wrong, which I didn't think I did anything wrong in the first place. So now I'm just hurt and really angry. So she blocked me off of everything, so there's no way to get a hold of her. She has an Etsy store, so I contacted her through Etsy, and I said, do me a favor, just watch my video, and you'll see that I didn't do what you jumped the gun about. No response, no response. So that leads me to believe, one, she has not watched my video to show for herself that I didn't do anything wrong, or two, she watched my video, but is stubborn like me to where she doesn't want to admit that maybe she jumped the gum. Maybe she jumped to conclusions just by seeing the image without really watching the video. That's where I'm thinking. But what upsets me the most is, is the fact that whatever. I mean, if you watched the video, you would have known that I didn't do this. And I'm not expecting an sorry. I'm just, let's just move on. You know, everybody makes mistakes. I've jumped the gun a lot of times. I've assumed a lot of times. It happens to all of us. It's not a big deal. But let's just get over it and move on. You know, so great. You didn't watch the video. You have no idea I did anything wrong. So watch the video. And then you'll see that I didn't do anything wrong. But again, you're still not going to apologize or say, oops, I jumped the gun because you're saving face. That makes me more angry, I think, than anything. So maybe she just didn't want to be friends, and this was the only way to stop my communicating with her, was to say something like this. I don't know. I do know that I went from being sorry to finding out I wasn't doing anything wrong, so then I got angry. And then extremely angry, extremely hurt that she couldn't even say, watch the video or anything and say, I made a mistake. Let's, let's move past this. Nothing. No response, no nothing. And so now I'm at the point where I'm not really angry no more. I really don't care anymore because if that's what a friend does to somebody else and they jump the gun, they jump to conclusions and they don't even listen to the other person or even verify the facts, go watch it and you'll see that I didn't do anything. You can't even do that. Then is that somebody I really want to be friends with? You know, I'm not going to die that she is not in my life. I've moved on. I found a lot of artists that I've, I tend to watch. And so I've got no problem with that. But at the same time, I'm not going to die that she's not in my life. But it was really nice having her in my life. And I still would like to be friends with her. I still want her in my life. But I've done absolutely everything that I can do to resolve this issue to no avail. She doesn't want to talk. She doesn't want to get proof. She doesn't want anything. She wants to be right and she wants to leave it alone. So that's how it is with that. So now it's over. I've said it. So thank you everybody for being so concerned about me. But honestly, I'm fine. I don't like drama in my life. Um, I'm a good person. I'm an honest person. I do things for people. I don't ask for anything in return. It's just who I am, you know, and so it hurts because she doesn't know me but thinks that I'm a thief now. And then obviously her friend must think I'm a thief because she said I was a thief. I don't even think her friend has watched the video. And if her friend could just watch the video and say, hey, I watched the video, it's okay. It's, it's not yours or nothing. It's like nobody stuck up for me. Everybody that knew about this, nobody has stuck up for me. And I have dealt with this my entire life. I've been stepped on. I have been kicked. We're talking childhood. We're talking marriage. We're talking everything. I have gone so through so much crap my entire life. I don't need this anymore, you know? And so I'm really trying to stay strong and just, you know what, 
let it go, let it go. But every now and then it just comes back to why? You know, I don't understand where this went wrong and why it can't be fixed. It is so petty. I didn't do anything wrong. Let's just fix this and move on. But now I'm at the move on stage because that's not going to happen. So I'm good. I got that last bit of anger out. I respect her as an artist. You know, I really like her. This doesn't change how I feel about her. I'm just angry that somebody can be that stubborn, I guess is all I'm saying. But we'll see what happens in the future. But for now, I've moved on. I'm okay. Um, I found another artist that does a lot of the work that she does and falling in love with what she's doing. So once I get her YouTube channel, I will go ahead and put it in a link so you can watch her because you might like her too. You know, and she doesn't charge for any of her work. And so it's all on YouTube. It's all free. And it's great. So anyways, let's get back to our flower, right? So without a pasta machine, here we go. Now we got four pieces, right? And I'm sorry that I ranted, but, you know, I was really good, and I, I was doing really good, and then somebody asked about it, and it kind of brought it all back again. And then I was good a little bit, and then somebody else asked about it, and it all brought it back again. So it's like, once and for all, let's just say this. Let's get it out of my system, and let's move on, because life is short. I have a friend that has cancer that is uncurable. I am having friends that that are dying all the time and it's like I'm at that age now where we can all go anytime you know I don't have time for petty I won't even say the word petty crap it's not in my future it is not in my present and I will not allow it because there's another girl on here that watches my videos it helps her depression you know I cried because it was just a wonderful thing to hear. And two, I've had panic disorder for 25 years. I had a four-mile radius from my house. You know, I went to the mailbox, and even that was hard. It got really bad. I lost a lot of family functions. I lost so much of my life, you know. And so I get it, you know. And thank you for the girl that said that. I won't say your name, but thank you so much for saying what you did. I appreciate it. I do this because if I don't do this, I will have anxiety attacks again. Art saved me. My crafts, whether it be glass, whether it be clay, my mind thinks all the time to creating and my hands are always working on something. I don't have time to panic. I don't have time to be depressed. I'm finally in the perfect place in my life where I'm able to do what I want and I absolutely love it. So that's it. No drama, no nothing. This is me. You like me, like me. If you don't like me, unsubscribe, leave. It doesn't matter to me anymore. Okay, I'm just going to be myself. And I hope you guys really like me because I can be brutally honest sometimes. But I'm honestly really shy, which is why you haven't seen me on camera. I just, I don't want to be shown on camera. I hate selfies. I'm not, I just, I don't like it. So we concentrate on the clay and that's it. But you'll see a lot of hand movements, I'll tell you that. And I'm not Italian, but I am Greek. Whether or not they use their hands a lot, who knows. But anyways, that's it. We are done. Let's get back to our flower, right? So we are just going to make these back and forth. We are going to take a yellow and a white. And then we're going to switch it around. And we're going to put the orange next to that white. I'm going to put another white. We're going to go upside down. So you always have a triangle up on top. No, nope, actually, this should go that way. Triangle bottom, triangle top, triangle bottom, triangle top. And you just keep doing that. Oh, see, I almost did it wrong again. And then we'll do another white. Okay. We'll end that side with white because that'll be the bottom. And then we got that. And we're finishing off with orange. Okay. So if you want, you know, you can cut this to make it square and put it on that side. You can cut part of this off, make it square and go on that side. I'm just going to leave it alone. It doesn't really matter if it's perfect. All you're going to do is just bunch it up. So this is just a technique to use if you don't have a pasta machine. OK. 
kit. And I mean, there's your flower right there. Just kidding. I usually don't rant, and I usually hate ranting, but I'm really sorry. I just had to get that out today. Okay, so now I'm just using a roller. If you don't have a pasta machine, you definitely need a roller. And whether you use a piece of PVC pipe, you know, that you get at Home Depot for your sprinkler system. I mean, you can use anything. Okay, so now we have that, and we're at what about three inches? And you know me, I like to keep mine at one and a half or so. So we're gonna keep to where that is. Okay, so we got that. I could cut it one more time and put those next to it, but we're not, we're just gonna keep going. And again, you're going to squish it into a little square. And I don't want you to reduce this to the point where you think it looks great for a flower. Because remember, you still have to make the petal. And then you have to reduce that last time in order to get the, the whole flower at the size you want. So don't make it to exactly where you want it to look go one ahead and I know that is really really hard to do because you don't know what that next cuts gonna look like but after you make a couple of these you'll figure out where to end unless you want like a watercolor um, kind of abstract flower then you can keep going and it probably will start bleeding in so the colors I'm using here unfortunately I'm using one Sculpey um, souffle I don't really like it and all these colors are just sitting on my table which is why I picked them um, I don't really care for the pumpkin. It's more like a translucent with some weird looking orange on it. I don't know how else to explain that. So I want this kind of even. So I'm going to say it's about right there. But you can use any colors you want. You don't have to use three. You can use two. Just use one with a contrasting color. just don't have a whole lot of fall colors in flowers so I thought these would be perfect and I think I'm probably gonna cut one more time I'm gonna look at this really well hmm maybe not I might just end this well I can't now considering I just did what I did to it. So we're going to go to three inches. Okay. I'm trying to make them all the same size, but even that doesn't really matter. So we're going to cut right down the center. Okay, and this is where we're going to leave it. It was right there. Okay, so we're going to cut off a little bit of this back end. Okay, and this is what's going to be our petal right there. Now, if you want, you could take some red which I'm going to do now. I'm going to take some pomegranate red. Yeah, let's do pomegranate. I'm going to be reaching over you, so excuse my arm if it gets in the way. I'm not sure if this is pomegranate or red glitter. I think it's pomegranate. So I'm just going to do this at a number... I'm going to do this at a number three. We're going to make it kind of thick. Usually doing this, I would do a number five. OK, 
Okay, so basically, I just want it to go just about right there. Okay. So let's cut a strip. Kind of even that out. Okay, so there's that. And then we're going to roll this. Yeah, I'm still working on cutters. I thought I could get all my orders out that came in today, but I had a couple problems with a few printers this morning and kind of threw me behind. So that could be another reason why I'm ranting. It's just a typical Monday today. I try and get orders out the same day that you place the orders. You put them in in the afternoon, you're definitely getting them out the next day. You put them out at night, you definitely get them out the next day. If it comes in during the day, like early, um, there's a good chance you'll get it. But I had a whole bunch of big orders that came through today, and I just looked at them and went, oh, well, there's no way. But I think the day after you place an order is not that bad for cutters. I don't keep anything in stock. Everything that I make is as soon as I get the order is when I make them. Just so you know. Anyway, if you ever wonder why your orders are not going out, that's probably why. Okay, so I'm going to put a little hole right there. About right there. Okay, so, so far so good. We have not used any other tools except for silly tools like this. I do have a... Oh, uh, a knitting needle. I don't know where any of my stuff is. It's just been, I don't know about you guys, but if you do a show, um, you know how crazy it gets. It just gets a little crazy right before one. So I'm a little backwards today. Okay. So there we go. Pretty easy, huh? So now all you're going to do is you're going to squish these together and turn it into a nice little triangle now if you wanted to you could actually just leave it like this and reduce it until you get your six petals and then round it out which is probably what I'm gonna do because see, as you can see right now, it's just flat on top. I don't want that flatness. Okay, and of course, if you were to make this flower and you put them right next to each other as you're making the whole flower, all of these are going to run into the other one because there's nothing stopping it. So the stripes are going to keep going. You won't see individual petals. So I think I'm just going to wrap it with Oh, I was going to say orange, but I don't think I have any more pumpkin. Like I said, I'm just trying to get rid of a lot of clay that's sitting here. This was a pumpkin that I made with the pumpkin color, but I don't want to use that. I could do gold. So why don't we do that? Why don't we just put a little bit of gold through there? Ah. I'm not supposed to run the pasta machine, aren't I? Okay, I may have lied. I may end up having to use it. This was that Cernic clay, and it just stuck to my little brayer. So we're going to try this. I don't know how thick I just made this. I don't know if it's going to work. No, I need more clay. Okay. But so far, so good. I'm managing. The only thing that's difficult is remembering not to use it.
If you need a cheap pasta machine, I'd get the Makins, which is at Hobby Lobby. I would get them way over the one that's been sold at Michael's. I don't know if it's their own brand at Michael's. But that thing lasted like... It didn't last long with me. I wouldn't get theirs. I would definitely get the one from Hobby Lobby. I think it's a little more expensive and it's horrible that they don't use coupons anymore. Nobody does. It's just sad that, I don't know, this whole world is just really sad. Don't even get me onto the world itself. Well, I'm almost there. Just gonna stretch it out. I think we may have it. Okay, and I'm gonna keep a little bit of red on the bottom so I have my registration line. So we're gonna cut this about right there. Nope. Just right there, just a little strip. Okay, and now we're just going to grab, we'll just grab this little teeny piece right here, roll it really small. That's all you need, just a tiny little bit. Put that right in between, and that way you know as you're reducing that that's the bottom. And it all needs to be in that straight line. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and reduce this. It might take me a little bit of time. And... what we got here there we go okay and this is the only way we reduce yeah, I got a lot of air bubbles in here don't I all right so we're just gonna basically do this and that's all we're gonna do until we get six even pieces so I will be right back when we do okay so we are back and we made this at 750 so I didn't think I could make it to nine and still have control of this so we're cutting this at a one and a quarter why does that look like a small should have been seven and a half Okay, well, that was interesting. Well, we'll figure that one out. But here's our little flower. So we just need to go a little bit longer. So there's six. So I'm going to need a center at about a quarter of an inch. So what are we going to do for the center? Let's do this red. I'm going to do a red and a white center. So this is going to be a really small Skinner blend, as you can see. Uh, let's see. I know I have white here. little more white and red hardest ones to work with because white loves to smear all over the place okay and it's so small that I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to make a Skinner blend by my hands but we're gonna try it
now starting to come through. Afraid of getting pink though. Probably do one or two more, and I just keep bringing in the edges. Yeah, I don't know how people do this. They have a patience of a saint because <laughs> it's a lot of work doing it this way. I'm just going to do one more. I'm not getting a whole lot of change out of this, so... Hmm. Gonna see what it looks like. I could have done just a bullseye and then been fine with it. All right, let's see how that looks. Yeah, it's just a regular. Bulls I came here. Okay, so let's just make that a little more round. Okay. Still not round, or it just doesn't look round because of the way I've squished it. Okay, so now we just want to fill in the sides with translucent. And sometimes that can be a little difficult. I'm going to go at least wipe my hands because i got a lot of red stuck on them. And I'll be right back. Okay, so we're ready to put these. So I just basically made these in little triangles made a log and then shaped them into triangles and now is the fun part of putting them in between okay, so a little bit of that I can take off and the more you put in there the more you're gonna have to change a lot of this because this just adds to the dimension so you're going to really have to stretch that flower in there okay so close all that up two more we don't have a lot of room
Well, I haven't checked the other side anyway, so I guess it's good that I do that now. So that needs to come over there. All these look like they're touching it. Look on this side, they all look like they're touching it. So all this is going to be squished in. Okay, so I'm not really worried about that. Ah, I am worried about that though, because that's just made these. The hard part is keeping these round. Sometimes I do it perfectly. Sometimes it just doesn't work. So here's another thing you can do if they end up square and you want them a little round. Just cut some strips. Go about that thick. Use the right side of the blade. And then just lace them on top in the center. Okay, this is a little wide. It's a little thinner. You're not looking at a whole bunch, just a little bit. You don't even have to do this if you don't want. If you're fine with the way the flower looks, then leave it alone. This is kind of like, um, I don't know, when I make my flowers, I try and keep it round all the way until I cut the petals. And then that way you can shape it and you will definitely have that round top but by reducing it while it was already a triangle that can make it a little difficult sometimes okay but it's just glows to show you that you can change things around halfway through okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get some translucent around it this is Primo um, white translucent by the way this is not that Cernet which I was really excited to use to do just this but it's just gonna have to wait a week until I get some new new stuff in just want to see how far I have to go so I'm going to fold that in half this might be all the translucent I have okay and the one thing about doing this though is you don't know if you're consistent in your um, in it because you don't have you don't have the pasta machine to make you consistent so that's the only downfall with this so I definitely need a little more I'll be right back alrighty so we are back let me just cut a bunch of strips So it may not be beautiful. Ah. OK. 
Okay, well, let's try that again. Okay, I think that's going to be enough to go all the way around. And if you're real anal like I can be, <laughs> just grab a rubber stamp or something with an even surface. There we go. And just run it across. And that way you'll know if your layer is pretty well even. So this is great and then it gets up here and it gets a little higher. Probably because of that little area that was added onto there. I think this is probably the first flower I have made in my entire time of doing this without a pasta machine. I had a friend that was a manager of Michael's and she really needed help and this was after I quit the emergency room. So I told her, oh, I don't mind working. I'll help you out. So I worked at Michael's for a little bit and um, so I was lucky because Michael's gives you a nice little 30% discount. And that's even if things go on sale. The only thing you can't use it on are clearance. And I can't remember what the other one was. But yeah, if you had um, clay supplies at 30% off, you would still be able to use your 30% off. What was great is I would use them for beads. And beads sometimes would go on sale for 70% off. So 70% off and you're 30% off. I mean, you would technically think that's free, right? But no. So you get the 70% off and I mean, I'd spend $100 and it ended up being $30. And then, yeah, with the $30, 30% off of that is how it worked. So I got, what, three, six, nine nine dollars off so it only cost me like twenty one dollars for a hundred dollars worth of beads so you've seen my drawers you've seen how much beads that I do have so that was a great advantage and they keep wanting me to go back to and it's like no no I don't want to work I want to do this this is why I quit was to involve myself in art um, if I had a chance of going back to work it would probably be back at the hospital um, in the emergency room. I just, I don't know. I have to recertify. And um, I haven't done that yet. And it's due next month in October. So I think I'm going to be really late. It's like not something that I want to not have. Because I worked really hard to get it. And it just seems like, I don't know. It just seems like it. it's given up a lot of my dreams by not recertifying my certificate so I still haven't decided what I'm going to do even though I know that I don't want to go back in the emergency room or in the hospital setting at all you know I just get I don't know got a lot of empathy how's that so people dying all around you it just never sat well with me it was hard to take it home All right, so this must, might take me a little bit of time, and we're already at 44 minutes on this video. So let me go ahead and pause this until I finish reducing. All right, guys, I think we got it. Now, I heavy-handed this, so I'm kind of nervous that I may have just pressed the flower petals just a little too much. But time will tell. Let's see what happens. All right, are you ready? I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. Try and zoom you in there. And there is our little fall flower. So it didn't really round the flowers very well, but it, it, it did turn out okay. So I'm kind of happy with that. Interesting colors. Um, but these are going to make great fall flowers. 
So I hope you like that. And look at that. We did it without a pasta machine. I am so proud of time. Oops, I ceiling. So there we go. I hope you like that. Again, I want to apologize for my ranting. Still thinking, okay, maybe I shouldn't put this video up there because I really don't like doing that. But then the other part of me says, no, I need to get it out. And I need to get it out there because I don't want people to think of me as something that I'm not. So it is what it is. I hope you guys liked today's video and we'll talk to you later. Bye.